Hi everyone, it's Athena. Welcome back. It's Friday. Yes, the 27th of November, 2020. Okay, so I was going to go live today, but I think I'm going to go. No, I, I will go on Sunday. I'll do a meet and greet Sunday because what I'm doing is uploading the, I want to finish uploading all the December readings. So in order to not, you know, have my Wi-Fi going crazy, it's better to be safe than sorry, right? And get those readings out to each and every one of you guys for the month. All right. Um, so Sunday we'll do like a meet and greet. Okay. Whoever's around, check it out. It'll be in the, you know, mid-morning Pacific time. So if you guys want, check out. I will, um, yeah, I don't know exactly what time, but it will be Sunday morning Pacific. Okay, so let's get started. Let's see, hope everyone's doing well. I wanna also thank each and every one of you for your continued support. And I also wanna shout out to all those people who sent texts, messages for readings. I thank you and I've been so, uh, so grateful. I feel so grateful for each one of you. Um, and I hope that the reading has helped each and every one of you on your path. And keep me posted. Okay, let's go. Let's see what's happening for today. All right, so, well, this is kind of understandable, right? As we are uh, taking time out, right? Not just for those who celebrated Thanksgiving, but also for those who haven't celebrated. It doesn't matter. This is just, we need rest. We need to get out of our head and just not think of anything, right? It's time to just get your rest, get out of your head space, and just chill. And I mean, truly, how appropriate, right? Okay. Why are we chilling? Because we have things to do. We're getting ready to do them. New beginnings are happening for many of us now. It's time to get started, but we need to make sure we get enough rest so that we can be 150% for whatever it is that we're going to manifest, create, or are creating. And, you know, we just need little breaks now and then, right? Stand still. So this project, this idea, this this idea, this time right now is to regroup and rebuild your energy so that you can have enough energy going forward. So right now, Spirit is saying you need to just really get enough sleep. I also heard eat your greens. Keep yourself healthy because whatever this manifestation, when it becomes ready, which looks like in a month's time, Things are going to be progressing, so you need your rest. Okay, we need to balance our mind-body for whatever's coming. This is the rest that we need. I'd say the rest that we need within the next week to up to a month. We need to really get enough rest. Take, take walks in Mother Earth. Eat greens, be very healthy, and now focus on being, getting aligned mind body, right? Mind body alignment here, right? The yin and the yang. Because whatever this pentacle is huge, whatever is going to come of this pentacle, you're going to need to be 100%, right? Whatever that is. So give yourself time to get your body and your mind uh, ready, right? This is exactly what is needed after a 10 of swords situation. This is someone who is has been literally exhausted, 
has been has been unfortunately has been feels like they have been really wow through something really rough An ending has been very rough and someone needs to get their mind and their body back to normal. Back in balance. After this, this is a complete ending of something in their life. It's a life, it, it has changed one's life. This changes your life. It does, right? I mean, any kind of I don't know if it's in love or business, but it changes your life. And one needs to regroup and rebalance for sure. They need their time. You need to give people their time. If you know of, sorry, those are the doggies, if you can hear them. Um, I don't know how you can't. If you are the person who is requiring rest, after or you know of people who have suffered from a, an ending that has changed their life, you know, be, be there to support them, but give them their space and time to re, regroup and recoup. Someone has left, that's why. A Gemini Libra Aquarius has left. And someone is devastated by the loss. It's already happened. A judgment call was made. Maybe someone, someone got divorced. And it will be finalized in a month or a week. Someone is really hurting here, you guys. So, someone's really, really hurting from someone leaving. I don't think they expected it. Yeah, they leaving a family, which is a marriage, a commitment. Someone's, someone has left a commitment to, or someone left a relationship. Hold on. Someone could have left a relationship to go toward a commitment. I wanted commitment, they, you know, meaning third party, not third party, but someone said I'm out because I want to be in a committed relationship. So it's one or the other, one or the other. As the justice card says, well, on one hand, someone could have, someone needs their time for rest because someone has left a marriage, a commitment. And then the other side of that is, um, someone left because someone was not ready and or willing to make that commitment. Someone could have took off in the middle of the night and had someone had no idea they were leaving. It's like, I'm out, right? Because they're going toward what they want that's going to make them happy. So whatever has happened, someone needs to, re to regroup here and get back some. They need sleep. You need to get out of your head. If this is you awaiting a new beginning, it's time for a new beginning. It's going to happen. A new beginning in love. There it is. Someone's leaving after... Someone's leaving after a, a situation where now they're, they're going after their soul counterpart. They're making the commitment. Here it is. Maybe someone has been contemplating this for a minute, right? For a while. I really want to be happy and I want to be in a committed relationship with my soul counterpart. And they've been thinking about doing so. And now they are. They're coming to make this offer. Here it is. Let's be together. Someone may be needing to travel in order to, to get to this person. This person could be 
this person could already have a family, meaning kids. Could be a single mother, right? A single mom. Or someone who left had children. All right, so it goes it goes many ways, right? We don't know yet. We don't know exactly who's leaving and where they're going, but we do know they're going after their happy place. They're going back, you know what? They're going home, see? They're going home. Someone's going home to, to have, to get this. And it doesn't necessarily mean geographically, meaning home, meaning where their heart is. That's the heart right here. This is the offer. Someone's been contemplating making an offer to someone who makes them also feel like home. Right, if a soul, if this is a soul counterpart, they that is someone who makes them feel like home. Right, the yin and the yang, the justice. Right, they fit. They just fit. Yep, and that's what someone's been manifesting for a, a while. And now the full moon is November thirtieth, so it may be we have the two moon cards. Right, we could have. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Moon sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Moon. Yeah, we have this this next full moon, someone's going home. Someone's going. We have 3 moons here, you guys. Look at that. Yeah. Someone's manifesting and going home, meaning they're going to find their person. They are ready. They're making their move for sure. And it could be in a sunny place from, from a place of, you know. I think someone left in the middle of the night. I really do. My gut feels like someone left. Someone knew they were leaving, but they didn't realize they were going to leave at night. They left to go after their soul counterpart. They've wanted to manifest this. Bottom of the deck, the emperor. Someone's taking back their life to go after their happiness. I mean, it's, it is a general reading, but it is true. <laughs> yep, I'm going for it. I'm going. I, I've got the cup. I'm ready to take this cup, and I'm going for it. The Queen of Cups is reversed, so it's not a water sign. They're not going for a water sign. The offer being made could be from a Gemini Libra Aquarius who's going home to offer and, and to say, I'm fighting for you. Let's work this out. Oh, someone may be going back to a relationship and saying, let's work this out. Yep, here's the coin. I want to work this out. Cancer Pisces Scorpio is reversed. So we, we probably here are have, what we have here looks like a Gemini Libra Aquarius, right? Both of these cards depict air signs. Okay, so we have potentially someone going back home after being away for a, a time, going back home to manifest a new beginning and say, let's work this out with a Gemini Libra Aquarius. We have Aries. And here's the offer, right? Here's the offer. And here's the offer. Okay? So someone's going to manifest this pentacle. Someone's coming in to 
reclaim their person. That's what I just heard. Someone is charging forward to reclaim their person, who they want to be with. A solid commitment. New, passionate, very passionate couple. This is a very passionate couple who they're going to be with. There's a lot of passion. They're on the same page. I feel like it's a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It could be with a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn or another Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, okay? So now the balance, karma. This is like someone's receiving their karmic justice for a situation that may have been with a masculine who is now ready to make a solid commitment and that is balancing the scales out for what's happened in the past. So this could be someone who hurt someone from the past, right? And left. They left. This could be a while ago this happened. Look. This someone left and it's been a while since they've been gone. 10 10 months maybe even up to 10 years, no kidding. And someone is saying, I'm ready to offer you a commitment because you are my, my home. I now get it. I realize what I've lost. And now I'm ready to manifest a commitment, a new passionate commitment. This is passion. Not just passion though, right? Because we have love, commitment, and passion. This is having it all. Like sometimes, you know, in a relationship, you have one or the other, a friendship the, and or the passion. It's one or the other, but here you have it all. Someone who has completely lost everything is now wanting to be with the person who makes them happy. The someone is finding the courage to go after their happy, their, the person that makes them the happiest and feels like home. Someone could be in the limelight, right? People are watching. What is this person going to do? Or they've been curious as to what would happen. Who's, how are they going to, what are they going to do after being stuck in a situation where there was a breakup? Here it is. This could be Leo. Okay. Someone has now gotten, has gained enough courage to go after what they want after this has happened. The truth is out of like some situation that caused that Ten of Swords is because of someone, someone's, I don't know why I'm hearing, someone's karma came to them and now they need to balance the scales and get back to a happy place, offering their cup of love a passionate new beginning with someone else who they feel like is home after a situation where they they could not sustain a relationship they felt stuck in and now they've been freed and they're going after their happy place their hap their their happiness i mean a lot of people were involved right so that's why a lot of people are watching this 6 of wands a lot of people are watching this person because they were in a toxic situation. So someone was in a toxic relationship, say, or marriage and has set themselves free so that they can go be with the person that they want to be with that they call home. The truth has been set. Someone's truth has set them free, literally. This is on both sides. The truth will set you free. The truth has come out. 
and now no one is oblivious. This is oblivious, right? No one's now oblivious because someone found the courage to get out of a situation that they were unhappy in and they want to now go back to their happy place. It could be to they want to go back to their wife or husband. Let's work it out. They, it could already be someone who's married and now they realized, right, there was a separation of some sort. Maybe a, there was a trial legal separation and someone's saying, come on, let's work this out. You know, I've learned a lot through this time away from you. Okay. So someone's either going back to a marriage or a commitment or wanting a commitment with a soul counterpart after potentially a third party situation has left. Okay. Yeah, definitely. That's what's happening. Someone, it's been like stagnant. There's been no movement in a relationship. And now someone finally, I think, after this painful ending, is going after their happy, their happiness. Okay, let's get a card. I mean, it's so general. This could be happening on everyone's right now world, in everyone's world. Third party situations can no longer sustain. I mean, I've been, I don't know why, but it had to come. I mean, this had to come out. Why? Because universe wanted to say justice is always served in situations that are, can no longer sustain, right? A relationship, a marriage, someone, you know, there's always someone who has to go, you know? Okay, it just, that's just the way it works, you know? There's a reason why number three is growth, but it's also about three is a crowd. Someone's manifesting their future right now. Someone released, they had to be released. Someone has been released from a situation that has caused them great pain, However, now, as it comes out twice, they are manifesting under the new, the next full moon being, I think, November 30th, they're going after their happiness. And the last card is the observer. Someone has been observing another. Here it is. Someone's been, like, looking from a distance, spying. Are they with anyone so that I can make this offer of commitment and a new beginning? Wow, there we go. <laughs> it's not a new situation, but it is clearly one that is happening for many. This is happening. The old is closing out. The old ways of people in relationships and third party situations they have to close out because they can't they can no longer you know someone said i'm out i'm going after what i really want and that is my happiness i'm going to manifest the love of my life i mean that's what it is after the end of something that was really traumatic okay Wow. I don't know what to tell you. It's, it is very general. However, yet again, the universe wanted this to come out so that others can learn from situations that people are in of this nature. Okay. Have a great day. Have a great weekend. I'll see you guys on Sunday. Take care.